Mm-hmm. Today I'm going to answer one of the most asked questions on the channel. What is Ruku? Now, Ruku is our local term for annatto extract. And annatto is a seed from the fruit of the achiote tree, also known as Bixa oriana, which was the name given to the tree by the Spanish. However, in Tupi or Tupian language, which is a collection of languages spoken by the first peoples in South America, the seeds are known as Uruku. So essentially, the name Ruku is the original name for the seed or plant, and it is the name that we use to refer to it to this day. Anato was used by the indigenous peoples on the island as a dye, body paint, lipstick, as well as a spice in food. Today, it's still widely used in cuisines throughout Latin America, as well as in Vietnam and the Philippines. The extract is also used as a natural food coloring in many products like cheese, butter, margarine, and ice cream. In Trinidad and Tobago, the most mainstream use is in the making of pastels around Christmas time, and this is a direct influence from Venezuelan cuisine. However, in communities like Lopino, Paramin, and parts of Arima, Ruku is still a main ingredient in everyday cooking. Now, Ruku has a slight sweet, peppery, and earthy taste to it, and it adds a rich depth of flavor to any soup or stew. I got these fruits from a lady in Central Market, Port of Spain, and she gave me a few pointers on how to make the extract, so I will be following her instructions on how to make it. The fruit is quite easy to open, and you have to be very careful when working with it. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm removing some of the seeds with my bare hand, just to show you how easily it will stay in your fingers and literally anything you touch. So I even wore an old t-shirt to do this video, just in case it got on my clothes. Now all you need to do is remove the seeds from the pod and you're good to go. However, in addition to making the liquid extract, I'm also going to make a natto powder. So there's an additional thin film that encases the seeds that you have to remove as well. Now this isn't necessary if you're just making the liquid because we have to strain it eventually. And this is a real painstaking process. So when you go to the market and the vendor tell you $20 for a small bottle or $40 for a big bottle of Ruku, just reach into your pocket and pay the money. It would every dollar. And once you have all the seeds removed, bring your water to a boil. And here I have four cups of water boiling. The lady in the market told me to add some bay leaf to Maruku, so I'm doing that. And you can't go wrong with bay leaf, so I'm using four bay leaves here. Then I add in six tablespoons of annatto seeds and a pinch of salt. Then you want to turn off the heat and leave this to steep until it cools to room temperature. And as I said, I'm going to make some ruku powder, so I'm putting the rest of the seeds out in the sun to dry. And then I'll be dehydrating them even further before grinding them into a powder. Once the liquid is cool, transfer to your blender and pulse a few times. Then you want to strain the liquid and transfer into a bottle or a jar. And just remember that this does stain, so you would want to wash your wares and your utensils right away and use a bit of baking soda too to remove any stains. left here with a big bottle of Ruku that you could store safely in a cool place and you could leave it out no need to refrigerate it and this will last you for months so don't worry about it going bad because I have this bottle of Ruku on deck I probably will be making some pala or some stewed tuna soon honestly forget about using golden ray this is mother nature's golden ray if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a share. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so and ring the bell to be notified every time we post new content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.